Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be filming a exclusively breast pumping video. I've had so many requests to film this video and I've finally gotten around to it. I have been exclusively breastfeeding now for about four months because my baby Camden is just a little over four months old and as you guys know if you've watched my previous vlogs and videos I am not breastfeeding him. He did not latch correctly. It was very frustrating for both him and I and so I just decided to exclusively pump and let me tell you it has been extremely uh, I guess difficult would be the word it's just been really inconvenient it's, it's pretty hard to just exclusively pump um, and I'll I'll share all the reasons with you um, why it's been difficult but breastfeeding if you can breastfeed directly you know the baby to your breast it is much easier and it's much more convenient um, but I did decide just to exclusively pump because I wanted my baby to have breast milk um, and and that's just what I had to do. So this video I'm going to talk about all the products I use, my pump, um, all the accessories that go with the pump. I'm going to talk about how much I pump um, and just everything like that. So let's just go ahead and jump right in and get started with the video. Okay, so first I'm going to talk about my pumping schedule. So when I first started pumping when Camden was born about four months ago, um, my lactation consultant told me to go ahead and pump every two hours. So yes, every two hours. It was it was crazy. I mean, I was constantly pumping. I felt like I would pump, and right when I finished pumping, it would be time for me to pump again. So I would pump every two hours on the dot. I would pump for 30 minutes, which is what my lactation consultant recommended, and I would pump a ton. I mean, I produced a lot of milk. Um, so I would fill like two bottles. I'm going to show you the bottle right now so you guys know um, what it looks like. But I just have these. There's milk in this right now. These are just like the Medela bottles. They're they have a yellow lid. You can get these at Bye Bye Baby. I think you can get them at Babies R Us, um, Amazon, anywhere really. And they go up to five ounces. And so I would fill two of these each breast and I would fill the full bottle, sometimes even, you know, higher. Um, and I would do that every two hours and I would put most of it in a little freezer baggie. So these are the freezer baggies I use, and this is the Lantano storage bags. I would also keep them in these little storage bottles, and I would keep them in my fridge. And they're only good up to five days if you keep them in the refrigerator. So I would keep them, and I would kind of, I keep them on my door, and I would put the oldest milk on top, and then I would go down like the, the door. So I'd put the oldest milk on top and then if I, when I kept pumping and filling up the storage bottles, I would just keep filling up the door and the freshest milk would be on the bottom of the door and that way I would use the oldest milk first and then so on. Um, so that's just how I've been doing it. And then after about, I think one to two weeks, I went back to my lactation consultant and she said that I could go ahead and pump every three hours. And I was like, oh yes, this is amazing. Every three hours, that's great. It's so much better than two. Well, it still took up a ton of my time. Every three hours, it's just like, it just came and went like that. So I was constantly pumping, you know, waking up in the middle of the night every three hours to pump. And after I would say about, I, I think I did that for like two months straight, like religiously, like I would pump every three hours on the dot for 30 minutes and I would just fill up those two bottles every single time. After about two months, I started to get a little bit lazy with it. I just felt really confident that I had a great supply of milk. I knew that I would pump a lot of milk every single time. I had so much milk frozen, so I just figured, you know what, I don't have to do this every three hours. It's taking up my entire day. It's just, it's stressful. It's a lot. So I started spreading it out a little bit. I would probably go every four hours, I would say, I started to do. And I did that for a couple weeks, and then I would even stretch it out sometimes to five hours. Um, and so... I started to stick with a five hour schedule where I would pump every five hours. I'm gonna tell you right now, Cam is a little bit over four months and I pump three times a day usually. I try to push for four times a day, but it's just my schedule is so busy with Cam. Um, I always have to hold him and feed him with a bottle and it's hard to pump and feed him at the same time. It's so hard because he will like pull on the bottles and pull on the, the little um, like wires and it's just, it's really, really hard. I mean, I do it, but it's difficult. So I usually pump in the morning when Alex goes off to work. He'll wake me up and I'll go ahead and pump then. And then I usually pump around like two. And then I try to pump around like six or seven. 
sometimes I don't get to pump at that time because I'm making dinner. I try to get a workout in. I have to feed Cam, play with him, all that stuff. So sometimes I skip that one. And then I pump again around midnight. So that's when I usually pump. And then I will sleep, um, you know, wake up to feed Cam and all that. But I will sleep through the night and then um, wake up at 8 again to pump. So at least three times a day I pump. But I try to get four in. Um, I know a lot of people say that, you know, if you decrease the time that you pump or if you decrease your pumping sessions, your milk supply will stop or it will slow down. And I haven't really noticed that with me. Every single time I pump, I fill up those bottles. Sometimes they overflow because I'm not even paying attention. I'm on my phone or reading a book or watching TV and then I'll look down and like there'll be puddles all over the bed or the couch or wherever I'm sitting. So I haven't had that problem yet. Um, and hopefully that doesn't happen. And if it does, of course, I'm going to try and pump more and more and more to increase my supply. But that hasn't happened yet. Luckily, crossed my fingers. In the beginning, when I first started pumping and seeing my lactation consultant, she recommended that I rent a hospital-grade pump. And so I rented the Medela Symphony. And it's like this big, huge pump. And I brought it home, but it worked wonders. I really think that initially is what helped me up my supply and increase my supply because that is the pump that I used from the beginning. I used that for the first two months. It really did not hurt when I pumped. I mean, it was a little uncomfortable at first. You have to get used to it. Um, but that pump was amazing. I just, I think it was so comfortable and it's just a really, really good pump. So if you're having trouble with pumping, if your pump just really like hurts your breasts or if it's not comfortable, if you're really not making a lot of milk, try renting a hospital grade pump. Um, don't buy one because those things are like thousands of dollars, but try renting it and see if that helps because I swear that's what really started to bring in the milk and increase my supply um, initially from the beginning. So I used that for about two months and then I figured, you know what, I... I got a free pump for my insurance and I was paying rental company, you know, money every week for renting this pump and I figured I don't, and I thought about it and I just didn't want to spend all that money. So since I had a free pump, I figured, let me just try this pump out and see if it, see how it does. I tried it out. Yes, it was a little bit more uncomfortable. It kind of tugged at my boobs um, and it still isn't that comfortable like to this day. I'm not really used to it. Like every time I turn it on, I kind of like, you know, I don't know. I just, it's not that comfortable. It's not as comfortable as the one I rented, but I didn't want to spend the money. So I went ahead and returned the rented pump, and now I use the free Medela breast pump that I got through my insurance. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the breast pump. So I got my breast pump a month before I had Cam, and at that time I had no idea that I was going to exclusively pump. I thought I was going to breastfeed and then just pump here and there, you know, like most moms do. But, um, so I went ahead and, and got this free breast pump and I was able to upgrade and pay extra if I wanted like the like on the go freestyle breast pump. But I figured I didn't need that because I was going to be at home with Cam and I just didn't need to pay the extra money for that. So I got the free one completely free. I didn't pay anything extra. Well, now that I'm exclusively pumping, I wish and I regret not getting the the freestyle one, which is the one that you can take in your car, you can take it on the go, you don't have to like plug it into an outlet. Um, that's what I need since I'm exclusively pumping, but I didn't get it, and at this point it's too late and I don't want to go pay like four or $500 for another pump when I got this one for free. So I will show you my pump that I got through my insurance for free. It is this Medela pump. It's like just in this, it's like a cute little box. It's pretty small, um, and you just open it like this, and then it looks like this. So it comes with these cords that just plug in right here. And these two cords go into each bottle, which attaches to each breast. And I'll, I will sh I'm not going to show you exactly how I do it, but I'll kind of show you a little demo. So here's the pump. And what I usually do when I'm on the go is I just kind of wrap these up inside and they also make these pumps like if you go to bye bye baby or any kind of baby store they make the pumps like that have like the to-go bag like a tote bag and i think some of the pumps are like actually um like sewn into the tote bag so that if you're if you have to breast pump like outside of your house it doesn't really look like you're pumping it looks like you have a purse with you and not a breast pump that would have been nice too but again i got this free for, through insurance so i didn't really look into that but so it just kind of Velcro's clo closed and I just throw this little guy in my bag along with my breast pump accessories, which I'll show you. And then that's just how I travel with it. So again, you just un-Velcro it. These come out 
and then we've got this little thing right here which turns on and this has like a max and a min so this is the on and off switch but it's also what sorry if you can hear those um cicadas i'm like at my grandmother's house right now for the day and i really wanted to film this and i'm outside on her porch and i just thought it was pretty out here and like the lighting was good anyway there's lots of bugs so sorry if you can hear the cicadas and i don't know what they are grasshoppers or those little like crickets crickets is what i'm trying to say sorry if you can hear all the crickets and cicadas but anyway so you turn this little guy like that and it turns it on if you just turn it to the right and then you, it says min and max so you can make it more powerful if you're trying to like really get more milk out oh my god is that a bee now usually i keep it like pretty minimum just because i don't want the pump like pulling at my breast because it already is inc uncomfortable enough but once they get used to it after about like five minutes i'll turn it up a little bit more and the higher you turn it up the more i think milk you're going to get out like in a short amount of time so if you're like really trying to pump within 10 minutes you should really pull it on put it on full blast if you can take the pain but usually i'm at home just like chilling with cam watching tv or you know i'm on my computer and um and so usually i can just put it on like a medium setting so it doesn't hurt that much and i usually pump anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes sometimes even 45 minutes if i just forget that i'm pumping um, but the shortest amount of time I pump for is definitely 15. I don't do less than that. Um, and the average is probably 30 minutes. So this is the Medela Pump in Style Advanced. I like Medela. All my accessories are Medela. I just, that's what I've always used. That was the rented pump that I used. It was by Medela. So I just like that brand a lot. So I stick with them. Except for the storage bags, which are Lantano. This is what my little pump looks like. And then it has this like cord that attaches to it and this is the like power um, this guy on the other end you just plug in right here and then you take this end and you just stick this into an outlet and then that's how you turn it on i've never tried this in the car but i do know that you can do it in the car if you get like a car adapter um, I don't have one, but I want to order one on Amazon so that if I do have to go out for like a whole day and I need to go pump in the car, I can. So that is my pump. And what I do first is, and I highly recommend getting one of these because this will just save your life if you're pumping a lot like me. So this will make it hands-free. So this is just like this little, um, what is it called? I don't know. It's like one of those like bras that you just put around your boobs and it's mine ties in the back. I have another one that I got. Um, and this is from simple wishes. I ordered this on Amazon, but I have another one. Um, and it has Velcro in the back. I do not recommend getting that one because I got that one at first when I first started pumping and it only lasted me about a month and the Velcro just like stopped working altogether. Like it wouldn't Velcro together at all. So it was just a waste of 20 bucks. Went ahead and I ordered this one because this one has a tie in the back. So this is not going to come undone no matter what. The only annoying part about this is, you know, I tied it in a knot like this. And so sometimes when I'm like sitting back, like on my couch or something, um, it just kind of annoys me and like hurts my back because it digs into my back. But whatever, it's, it's better than the Velcro one that just doesn't even stick together. So this little piece right here like just makes it more wide in the front. If you have bigger boobs, you're definitely going to want to get this extra attachment. The reason this is black is because I got the extra attachment with my first one, which was black. Um, my second one that I ordered was, is just this pink one, but I didn't want to order the attachment when I already had one in black. So that's why it doesn't match because this goes to my first one. And I don't know what this is called, like a wrap thing. I don't even, what is this called? Sorry, guys. I'll link everything below. I don't know what this thing is called. It's just, I'll call it just like the strapless bra thing so anyway i like this um extra piece because my boobs are bigger and especially when you're when you have milk in them like they get huge so i definitely recommend this because without it it's like i used to used to be tiny to wear this so anyway you put this on you obviously can't have a bra or top or anything on so you take that off or if you have like the um a nursing bra on you can just unclip it and pull it down and then you set each circular thing, like cir see the circles with the slits? So that goes on, goes on each breast. And then you take your little like funnel guy right here, this little funnel. And you have two of these. 
These are also by Medela. And you take it, once this is on you, wrapped around your boobs, you take this and you put, you kind of pull this out and put this through the little slit. So it's like this. So. Looks like this. And then the other side, which is going to be on each breast, looks like this. So this little suction area is around your boob. And then this is where your nipples are going to go. So once this is on you like this, you take these things. I don't know what these pieces are called. I probably should have looked this up. But again, I'll link everything below. But I don't know what these are called. But they were like these little things like this. And these are also by Medela. You take these little yellow guys, and this is what filters the milk, I think, because it has like these little, this little flappy thing. So you take this little yellow thing, and you kind of just attach it like that. So it looks like this. I'm going to do it to the other one. You just press it in and attach it. You go ahead and get your bottle. So I have milk in this, but I'll show you how it screws on. So the yellow thing goes into the bottle like this, and then you just screw it on like that. And obviously the bottle will be empty when you're pumping. This bra is around your boob. Your nipples should be going through this little thing, and then you attach. You attach it like that. So I'll show you guys again. So then you just attach the two like that. So this is what it looks like. And then you have this little circular part in the top right here, if you can see that. And that's where the um, little like clear tubes that are attached to the pump. Here, I just took one off. But these little clear tubes that I showed you that go um, into the pump and take the one end with like the little plastic part and you go ahead and stick it in that little hole. It's, I hope this is clear, you guys. I know this is kind of hard to understand. It's kind of difficult to show you, but I'm just trying to explain it as best I can. So you go ahead and click the little tube into the hole and it just clicks in and then you go ahead and you turn on your pump and then the milk starts to come out and it will filter through here and it'll just go into the bottle. And so that's, that's how you do it. That's how you use this pump. I also have these Medela Quick Clean Wipes. You can get these at any baby store or online. And these are just little wipes that I keep in my bag. I use this, this is a diaper bag that I got. Um, it's the freshly picked diaper bag. And I actually use this as my breast pump bag. So I just keep all of my breast pump um, accessories and anything like that, bottles, and then my breast pump I put in here when I travel or when I have to go over to someone's house. This is the bag I use. So I always keep these wipes with me because it's really hard to clean your pump when you're like out or if you're at someone else's house. You just have to go into their kitchen and like clean your pump and it's kind of, you know, it's just annoying. So these are called the Medela Quick Clean Wipes. You can get them anywhere. They're amazing. They're great to keep in your breast pump bag for on-the-go use. The other thing that I wanted to share with you guys was this Medela Quick Clean Micro Steam Bag. So this is when you want to sanitize your um, accessories and your bottles and stuff like that, and you're on the go and you, do, you don't have time at home to fill up a huge pot of water and boil everything. I, I use these all the time. I use them at home. I use them on the go. They're just so convenient and so quick and easy to use. Um, you just... Put all of your, you know, accessories in here. I wash them all with a little bit of soap and my bottle brush. I wash all my accessories, all my bottles. I do this every single night. And you will see that in my upcoming nighttime routine. I wash the bottles every single night. It takes a good 30 minutes um, because I sanitize all of them as well. You fill this bag with all of your accessories and then put two, what is it? Two ounces of water in the bag. You seal it shut and put it in the microwave for about three minutes depending on your microwave. And you take it out, I open it, let the steam come out, let it cool off a little bit, you let them dry on your drying rack or whatever, and then you're good to go. So 
This is so much more convenient than filling up a pot of water and boiling everything, which I do every now and then, but I just like doing this so much better. And I can throw this in my pump, in my breast pump bag when I'm at someone's house and also sterilize them with this if I need to. I also put um, his pacifiers in, in here. If I want to freeze my milk, I go ahead, I buy these Lansano bags. Um, I buy a big pack of them and I will take my two bottles of milk and I will pour them in here. I will seal it shut and then I go ahead and put the date and I put the time. You can also put the volume and it says name, but I don't need to put the volume or name. I just put the date and time and I stick this in the freezer. You can use your frozen milk up to six months. It's good, um, which I really need to get to using my frozen milk or donate it or something like that because it's probably going to go bad soon since he's already four months and I've been pumping since he was born and I really don't ever use my frozen milk. Um, but I do once in a while. And what you do is you would just take your frozen milk and you would let it thaw out. You would put it, um, if you have a bottle warmer, which I have a bottle warmer and that's how I heat up Cam's bottles. Um, you can go ahead and stick this in the bottle warmer and it would just, um, thaw it out and then pour it in a bottle and you're good to go. When I use the milk from the bottles, I usually just put, stick this little bottle in the bottle warmer and I let it heat up. It takes, I would say like a few minutes, maybe like three to five minutes to heat up. I usually like it nice and warm for him. Um, and then I just go ahead and transfer it into one of his Dr. Brown's bottles and that's how I use it. And then I rinse this out really well and I'll sanitize it at nighttime. Um, also when I'm on the go, I have this little bag that I use. This was actually sent to me with a bunch of formula in it. This is Gerber, but I don't use formula. Um, but this is a nice like cool pack. It's like insulated and um, I bought these little like freezer packs from my grocery store and I keep these in the freezer at all times and I have two of these and I put them in this bag on either side and then I go ahead and put my frozen milk or my bottled milk in here and I zip it shut and I throw that in my breast pump bag and then I take it wherever I need to go and it stays cold for a while. I know they also actually make like a Medela set um, that has the the frozen, like the bag where you can keep the, the milk in there and keep it cool for hours and it comes with like the little cool packs that fit the bag and this whole thing but I just felt like I didn't want to use the money when this worked perfectly fine for me so if you have something like this at home you can definitely go ahead and use that get your own freezer packs and just make your own thing and make that work. But if you want the actual set, I know they have it on Amazon and they have it at Bye Bye Baby and Babies Are Us and stuff like that. And Medela does make it, so that might be easier just to go get that whole set. I do not use any kind of, like, supplement. Like, I know that Honest Company makes a, like, lactation supplement that will help you, I guess, uh, increase your milk. Um, but I just don't need that. I've never taken anything like that. A lot of you guys ask me, like, what I do to produce so much milk and honestly there's nothing specific that I do um at this point I used to tell you guys that I pumped you know every two to three hours on the dot and I thought that's what was creating so much milk but I think my supply is so stable at this point um that I can just pump when I want to and I still have a good supply of milk so I don't really know what to tell you guys other than when you first start pumping I would rent a pump and use that because I truly believe that is what helped bring my milk in um I, that pump was just amazing and I really think that's what helped other than that I don't know I pumped you know on the dot every two to three hours for two months straight and that might have really helped my supply and then after that I kind of just pumped when I could and I think my supply is just you know so stable right now if that's the word that my milk just comes in um, and hopefully it'll stay that way but I don't know again I could wake up one day and my milk could just be gone I don't know you know those things happen so um, I don't take any pills. I don't eat anything specifically. I just kind of eat, I'm trying to eat more healthy, but you know, I still eat pizza and burgers and fried chicken and stuff like that. So, um, and I know that they say to drink tons of water. That is so important. Whenever I pump, I am so, like, I feel so dehydrated when I'm pumping and so hungry when I'm pumping. Um, and so I'm eating tons of food, kind of like when I was pregnant. I eat so much and I know breastfeeding mamas eat a ton. It's like you're starving all the time. Um, and they say to drink tons of water, which I am so bad at drinking water. I really, really need to up my water intake. I'm just horrible at it. But I try to drink at least a few glasses a day, which I know is not much. But 
a good piece of advice, drink tons of water. That will really, really help your milk supply if you're having trouble producing milk. Can does drink about five ounces every, I would say, three to four hours. Sometimes he'll drink six ounces. Sometimes he won't drink the full five. He'll drink about four. It just depends how he's feeling, I guess. Um, and in the beginning, when I first started breast pumping, I fed him every two hours because that's what how when you feed a newborn, it's every two hours they need to eat. And he was drinking about two ounces every two hours. And then as he grew, um, you know, and as I spoke to my doctor, I would up his, I would up the ounces to, I think I started at two, then I went to three, then I went to four, and now I'm at five. And um, my doctor told me that I should. He was drinking every two hours, and it was just, like, taking up my whole day, trying to feed him every two hours, plus I was pumping every two hours. So my doctor was like, you know, you can start feeding him more and then stretching out the time. So it'll let, you know, he'll be full for a longer amount of time, and he won't want it every two hours, which is much better. You know, it's just so much easier when they get bigger and they can actually hold their milk for that much longer. Um, so then I started to feed him about three to four ounces, and I would stretch it to, like, three, two and a half to three hours. And my doctor just told me, you know, if he wakes up or from a nap or if he just starts crying because he's getting hungry, he's probably just crying because he's used to eating every two hours. He's used to that schedule and his body just tells him, oh, okay, you're hungry, you need to eat, when he's not really that hungry yet. So she said, just kind of distract him, play with him, give him a pacifier, see if you can distract him for another five to ten minutes and then try to stretch it even to 15, 20 minutes and stretch it to 30 minutes. So that's what I did for a few weeks and now he's good. He drinks around five ounces every three to four hours and it's just much easier because I have a long break where I can get things done and you know go out with him or whatever and he doesn't need to eat every two hours and that's just what my doctor recommended to me so of course listen to your own doctor I, I listen to everything my doctor tells me she suggested that and it worked perfectly it worked great for us yeah I think that's it I think that's everything that I wanted to discuss with you guys if you guys have any questions that I did not answer here in this video please go ahead and leave them below for me um, I really want to help all you mamas out. I know it's so hard to exclusively breast pump, and I don't think people realize it. But us mamas got to do it, you know. It's it's for our babies, and it's, it's, it's best to breast pump. It's best for them to get their mama's milk. And if you can produce it, then why not, you know. So, again, breastfeeding, of course, is a lot easier. But if some of us mamas can't do that, then we got to pump. But hang in there, you know, I'm I'm pumping for a full year. I plan to feed Camden my breast milk for a full year. That's the goal. As long as I can supply it and produce it, that's what he's going to get. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate all of the love and support from you guys. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If this helped you out at all, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and let me know that you enjoyed it. And I really hope that I helped you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.